Going for over under here. What's up, guys? This is Nevin Dravinsky, producer on UFC Undisputed 3. He's got the double. In the pro, I can fake my transition. Now he goes north south. Flick down one more time using the amateur controls, and just like that, he got out of mount. You can see we're able to sway on the feet as we have been. You're also able to sway on the ground. And he works. The uh, a light kick TKO is eminent. He's looking for a Kimura. Here you can see we still have submission switching that you're able to do. So new to this year and quite possibly the feature I'm most impressed with is Pride Fighting Championship. So let's take a look at that in the game. So here on the rule select screen, uh, you can um, you know you can pick UFC rules or Pride rules at any time uh, going into Pride. Uh, again, uh, you know, picking your corners. Pride middleweight obviously includes uh, UFC light heavyweight. And what's really cool about the way we did Pride in the game this year is that you can play any UFC fighter in Pride roles or any Pride guy in UFC roles. So here on the reels, you can see if I move over to the left dot versus this middle dot here, in the middle are the Pride fighters. You can see we can do mirror matches, uh, Vanderlei versus Vanderlei, or specifically Pride Vanderlei versus Pride Vanderlei. Um, you can also do some fantasy matchups. If I go over here to the UFC rule, you can do UFC Vanderlei on the right versus Pride Vanderlei on the left. Uh, you can see they're modeled differently. Uh, we definitely modeled the Pride guys as they looked when they were in Pride. Um, we'll do a classic Vanderlei Rampage matchup in the Saitama Super Arena. And Pride was essentially a game within a game, you know, this is still the UFC game with Pride rules, but, uh, you know, we have Steven Quadros and Boss Rutten doing the announcing, Lenny Hart, the Screaming Lady, calling you out during the intros, different rule set, no elbows to the head, but uh, face stomps, soccer kicks, <laughs> and knees to the heads of downed opponents, it certainly makes for a lot of cool gameplay opportunities. <laughs> Obviously, entrances are a big part of the game this year. First time we've had entrances in the UFC game, and they were a big part of the Pride Fighting Championships, and uh, we we definitely wanted to make uh, make sure we did it right. So you see Vondelay coming out with the techno music, the lights, you know, everything that made Pride what it was, the screaming lady calling him out. Um, and it definitely, you know, this is something that I think more time for development, you know, allows us uh, to put in the game. Uh, just more polish, more tuning, and just these extra uh, presentation elements that, that make for, uh, you know, a more complete gameplay experience. This matchup is a pretty classic historical matchup with Quentin and Bonderlay in Pride. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen uh, their fights, uh, definitely, definitely go check those out. Also, Pride allows us opportunities to kind of play with our shaders. You know, do uh, a lot more uh, uh, experimenting with the dynamic lighting. Uh, you know, they fought in these uh, uh, usually open-air arenas, um, but with hot white lights reflecting off of this uh, white mat. Uh, definitely allows us to kind of play with uh, the, the look uh, of the characters and also the gameplay opportunity. I mean, that's, that's what really differentiates uh, Pride Mode. We've got Quentin in his uh, Apollo Creed-esque shorts. Uh, yeah, Pride is certainly, I think, once you actually get a chance to play it and do, do your first face stomp, uh, you know, you'll be hooked. Classic stare down with the Vanderlei bob and weave. And we'll get into some gameplay and uh, show you uh, kind of the differences. Again, no elbows to the to the face, but, you know, Japanese rule set, knees to the heads of down opponent, and positions like north-south all of a sudden take on a different uh, different level of, of uh, you know, danger. Same thing with, like, side control. Here I'm going to switch off the... Uh, paper dolls uh, that you see up there, the fighter HUD, uh, and I'm going to go to the grappling options, and again, you can at any time switch between pro and amateur controls, uh, you know, as you see fit. So we'll get in here, going for the flying knee, see sways on the feet, very important for staying in the pocket. Um, going to have Vondelay just take Witten down and show off some of the cool stuff. 
so quickly. He's uh, going to get to north-south, and then boom. See there, he has to posture up, knees to the head, boom, kick to the face. At this point, I'm going to let him recover so I can step on his face. Uh, again, here's side control. Now I can go knees to the head again. He's rocked. I'm getting into mount. A couple hammer fists. Again, I mean, uh, you just see the, the sort of brutality that you're able to pull off in pride. Uh, couple sways on the ground. Get out of this position. Boom. Nice head kick. A little rocked. And boom. Step on your face. I mean, this is really... <laughs> The most fun part about uh, pride fighting is just telling your buddy, yeah, I just did that. So, again, you get a little taste of what you're going to be able to do fighting in pride. Definitely have to be more aware of the situations that you get into, especially, uh, you know, if you're getting into, you know, side control, you see your opponent going for north-south. Um, all of a sudden, it's going to be a lot different scenario than playing in UFC rules. You don't improve your position, it will stop the fight. So don't come and complain. Just stepping on someone to finish it out, uh, as you see here. Boom. Ouch.